Hi everyone and welcome to What's My Job. I'm Timel and I'm going to show you today three objects that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So here is object number one that I use absolutely every single day to protect myself. Here is object number two that I'll also use pretty much every single day to measure all the liquids that I need to use for my job. And lastly, the third and last object, which is the microscope that I'm using to be able to see tiny things that can't be seen with naked eyes. So for my work, it is imperative that I wear protective equipment, such as object one that I showed you in the video earlier, for safety reasons. I also need to be really patient and to pay careful attention to all the liquids that I'm using during the day that I'm handling, not to harm myself, but also others. And I also need to pay careful attention to the amount of liquids that I'm using to make sure that I'm using the right amount that is necessary for my job. I am also using a bunch of different equipment, such as object number three that I showed you in the previous videos and so many others on a daily basis, which is pretty exciting and makes and mix things up a little bit. So as you might have guessed, I'm working in the laboratory and I do so as a PhD student in chemical engineering at Loughborough University. Hence why I'm handling a lot of chemicals and why I need to be protected. This is why I'm wearing a lab coat and I'm also wearing gloves when I'm doing my experiments. I use a lot of chemicals and equipment to be able to produce tiny little particles that are going to be containing a drug and that will be used to treat cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is a group of diseases that are all related to the heart or to the blood vessels. I had no idea that I wanted to do a PhD. I started off by studying for an undergraduate degree in materials engineering and then I went on studying a master's degree, an MSc in advanced materials. And that's when I actually realised that I was potentially interested in research and doing a PhD. But I also knew that I didn't want to do a PhD if I wasn't going to get paid, if I wasn't going to get any money because I wanted to be financially independent and be able to pay for my rent and my food. So I went on a website called findaphd.com and I had a look at all the PhD that were advertised, making sure that there were fully sponsored PhD where I could get a salary. So I would advise if you're like me interested in doing a PhD, just have a look online and see what actually what you actually like because this is something that you're going to be working for three to four years so you want to make sure that what you choose is actually a subject you're pretty passionate about or something that you really like. Did you guess the right answer? If you would like to find out more about this STEM career, ask questions or learn more from a STEM ambassador, email askanambassador at canterbury.ac.uk. Thanks for watching.